Sometimes my hair has a mind of its own. Hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Christine and I do some beauty videos some lifestyle videos some unboxing videos and whatever else I feel like doing because it's my channel and nobody's gonna tell me what to do so this is what we're doing today though today we're gonna focus on um, using the Tarte BU palette tell me that's not cutest thing you ever saw don't tell me that because I think it is so tell me it is so here we go look how cute it looks like a beehive come on it's so pretty the colors are beautiful very summery very peachy some bronze and it has bees embossed in it and honeycomb embossed in it and I don't know if you know this about me but I love bees I really do I don't like wasps I'm allergic but I do like bees an awful lot I think they're so fascinating and we need to do a better job at trying to keep as many bees as we can in our world because they are very very important to our environment so um, I really really love this palette I've used it a couple of times now so I wanted to kind of use it on camera to show you um, how the product performs and it's your standard Tarte eyeshadow formula in my opinion um, is Tarte my favorite eyeshadow formula? Probably not. It's, it's probably not my favorite, but it does come up with some, you know, I'm able to work it and come up with some really pretty looks. You're going to hear probably a bunch of noise because my window is open because it's a beautiful day here in Pennsylvania for once. And I have a wind chime and also there's, there's just a lot of wind and some things are moving around. So I apologize for that. We'll try to cut out as much of that. Um, as we can if it becomes a problem and uh, we're just gonna move right into that eye look if you're interested in anything else that happens to be on my face today um, it will all be linked in the description box as per usual and at the end of the video we'll kind of zoom out take a look uh, see what we think and I'll tell you what I think about how the shadows performed today and also can we talk about the pink elephant in the room Mm, I dyed my hair pink now I have wanted to dye my hair a different kind of color for quite a while but I am a school teacher and they do have dress codes in most of the schools in Pennsylvania still so I'm not able to do that while we're you know during the school year so I decided that since we are quarantined and I couldn't go out of my house anyway and nobody's gonna see me except you guys who are my friends and you're not gonna make fun of me I hope so I just decided to give it a shot and I really like it so if you don't like it keep your opinions to yourself because I don't care because I like it and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep it I could die back but I'm not gonna do that because I like it it's pink okay now we're gonna go ahead and get started I also decided today to show you some of my less expensive brushes um, I have several kits from Morphe that I usually use during my videos because I can tell you what the number of the brush is and you can look that up if you like and you could purchase it these ones I hope I probably still can link these but they're very easy to find they are from companies like Alamar Cosmetics I love Alamar Cosmetics I like their brushes they're very beautiful and they work very well and they clean up beautifully um, I also have a few here from Luxie another company that is really really good these some of the Luxie brushes I reach for these a lot because they are super super soft and look at that it looks brand new it cleans up so very well every single time I use it and I use that one a lot and I also love Moda brushes these ones are probably the I think least expensive out of all of them um, but these you can find even at Walmart okay so this was from a whole kit that I got so I have that one and I have a smudger and I also have a little pencil brush from them and they're really pretty they're like a matte black with I don't know what you would call that it's textured there's texture on it they feel really good in the hand they're very sturdy and again those clean up very well I've used some very bright colors on these brushes and it washes right out although 
I have to tell you I'm a little fanatic about my brushes especially now and I wash them after I use them every single time so you're not gonna find dirty eye brushes in a cup somewhere from me because I've been washing them you know uh, as soon as I use them so they do clean up very well and don't stain love it so I'll be using those today and you can look any of those up you can probably google it uh, Moda has their own website Luxie has their own website and of course Alamar has their own website as well they are a smaller indie brand that I've really been enjoying um, their brushes their there was a blush palette that I also have from them. I have some gloss and lip products from them. And they just came out with a bronzer product that I so want. I want it so bad. But we're kind of in a crunch here um, because of the pandemic. And a lot of people have lost their jobs. And my husband and I, both of us, have lost our jobs at this time. Um, we're trying not to panic. Uh, Pennsylvania is trying to get their unemployment figured out. And when that uh, finally does go through, I'm sure we're going to be perfectly fine. Um, we're just a little bit stressed about it right this minute because there seems to be like a holdup at the unemployment office. They've got a lot, a lot of people to get to and uh, we're fine. We have a roof over our heads. We have food. My daughter's taken care of and we're, we're perfectly fine. I assure you. Um, so we're, we're healthy and we're staying home like we're supposed to. You know, one of us takes turns heading to the grocery store if we absolutely have to. But other than that, we stay home and uh, we've been FaceTiming a lot. So do that. Connect with your friends and your family, but use FaceTime. Um, use the internet if you have it. Go back to writing letters. I would be thrilled if I got letters in the mail again. I think that would be really cool. So um, this, this too shall pass. Everyone will get back on track and things will get back to normal. It doesn't feel like it right now because we are in the midst of a crisis, but um, it is how you react to that crisis that really matters. And you just have to keep keep uh, the faith and know that this, this is going to be something that we talk about in the future and hopefully we'll find some good in it in some way. So let's get into our eye look. I'm going to start with that nice fluffy um, Luxie brush and these have names on them but they are on the back of the palette which tart come on man um i understand how they why they did it in this case because they really wanted to make it look like a uh, beehive or a honeycomb and um, there's not much room between the shades but to, for me to keep flipping it over i'm just not going to do that um, and you don't have to have this exact palette to go ahead and do your makeup with me any neutral palette is going to work just fine. So we're going to start with a kind of uh, real light peachy color. That looks really pretty. And we're going to get some of that up on the brush. Tap off our excess. It is powdery. I find Tarte eyeshadows to be a bit powdery. Uh, I, it's not a deal breaker for me. I'm still going to use it. So um, we're going to go ahead and get that peach started in the crease. I don't think this is a shade that I've used as of yet and I apologize if my hair being down um, bothers you if you have a recommendation for something that's not gonna crease my hair I would love it I tried these things this is gonna make noise I'm sorry I have tried these every time I get on camera my nose itches what is that about is that some kind of psychological thing I've tried these puts a crimp in my hair um, I've tried obviously the headbands makes my hair stand up uh, so I haven't really found anything that I love and today I already have my hair done so I'm not gonna stick those in so I apologize if it's bothering you and you don't like it that my hair is in my face I think you can still see and I think you're gonna be fine just just hang in hang in there with me okay um, I did pull in the camera a little bit so you could see better in my opinion Tarte shadows are shadows that you have to build up. They are not boom, touch the palette and right onto the eye and you've got full pigmentation. That's not, that's just in my, in my, uh, so far in my experience with the shadows themselves. They're, especially their mattes, their shimmers are beautiful. Like right now, I don't even know if you can see that on camera. I can see it on me, but it is very close to my skin tone so you're probably not going to see much of anything but it will set the crease very nicely so we're going to go ahead and do that to the other eye you can go a lot of ways with this palette you can do a totally tan neutral look 
There's a really pretty mustardy yellow. There are some cooler toned um, browns in this palette. Lots of warm tones. There's very beautiful bronzes. I don't know how well this palette would work on a deeper skin tone, how well it would show up, but if you don't mind working with your shadows and you don't mind building them up a little bit, I think it's a really pretty. Besides the fact that, like I said, they get me with the packaging every time. I didn't even, I haven't seen a single review on this palette to tell you the truth. I haven't really, really gone searching for it, but so I don't know what everybody else is saying about the shadow black under my eye already. I tight lined my top. That's just a part of my routine that I wish I could skip but I think it looks so much nicer. Now we're gonna go into something a little deeper, a little more in the brown family. Let's see if this one will show up. Same Luxie brush. We're just gonna start in the outer corner and kind of push that up into the crease. There's a lot of blending with Tarte Shadows you have to build them up. I progressively, sometimes it helps to stamp it too and not try to blend it out so much. You can also switch to a more dense brush. I progressively will go down to a denser, smaller brush and put more detail in as I go. That's just how I do my eyeshadow looks. This one's gonna be kind of a summery, easy look something you can wear to Walmart if you ever ever get out of your house just kidding we're all gonna get back out there again I find it helps me to get dressed to put on some cute clothes to do a makeup look but I really really like doing my makeup so it may be different for you maybe you're not that person but find whatever it is that calms you and relaxes you I know a lot of people have small kids home now because of school I do not God love you all because you know keeping kids entertained when you can't take them anywhere or do much with them has got to be really really difficult I hope that everybody's hanging in there I've heard that there are a lot of programs right now um, many companies are giving free things online so that the kids can keep learning and be entertained while they're home from school. I haven't heard any word in Pennsylvania about when our we're under a stay at home order right now, which we were already doing, so that's not much different. Talk to my, my one daughter is, is actually staying with someone else right now. Her daycare applied for, for a waiver and were able to stay open so that these healthcare workers could continue to go to work. So my daughter is, I consider, uh, one of the frontline workers right now. She's taking care of the children so that these parents can still go to work. Um, some people opted not to do that. So um, I think she's brave and strong and she's doing an awesome job. Okay, so we're gonna switch to something a little smaller. This is another Luxie brush. This one says 231. It's a small tapered blending. The other one was a 250. A large eye blending and I'm going to take something a little more on the um, rusty kind of terracotta color on the smaller brush we're kind of going to tap that in the outer V of our eye and build that up and just deepen up that outer corner a little bit I always do my top first and then my bottom I've watched some youtubers that do the bottom as they're doing each shade so they'll add it to the top and then they'll go back and add it to the bottom as well. I like to do the top first and then I go back in and finish the bottom lash line, but do it however you like to do it. There's no one way to do these things and there's no right or wrong in my opinion. Yeah, she is on the front lines taking care of these babies so their parents can continue to help people at the hospitals. So she's staying with someone else closer to her work. She's protecting her younger sister who has Crohn's disease and is on biologics, which means that she's on a medication that is injected, lowers her immune system so that the autoimmune disease uh, lets up a little. It, it hopefully will put it into remission 
and keep her from being in so much pain and making uh, trips to the hospital so she's staying away and it's killing all of us because we're all very very close she facetimes us every single night and we talk for a long time and we just sit sometimes we just sit and we'll watch TV I love to listen to her stories about the cute kids that she takes care of she loves her job she loves the kids that is what we're doing right now to try to stay connected we see each other via the internet every day we stay in touch making sure each one of us are okay I think that's built up about where I want it to I hope that you can see that that we just deepened up that outer corner area we're gonna put that brush down I have noticed that also the shimmers in the tar palettes work very well with a finger your free tool so we're gonna do that and we're gonna take I haven't tried this shade yet it's such a shame to touch the ones especially the ones that have the little bumblebees in them because I think it's so beautiful and I don't want to ruin it I want it to stay the same but I don't buy palettes for them to sit on my shelf I do use them so we're gonna use this one I'm gonna take that on the finger sorry bumblebee or honeybee whatever you are you're so cute and we're gonna go ahead and just apply that I also deeply apologize for you having to see my really terrible looking nails it is really a lot easier to do things with no nails on if you get false nails a lot you know the struggle my nails are garbage they are absolute garbage they may grow under there and get longer but without anything on top of them they are extremely weak and thin they basically they don't break because they're not even hard enough to break off they just split and tear I'm babying them I'm giving them some room to breathe and recover for a little while I think that is a very pretty I love their shimmers I think their shimmers are they're very pretty shimmers they're full pigmentation I think that the staying power is pretty good with Tarte and this is actually I think part of their sugar rush collection if I'm not yes it says it on the front it's part of their sugar rush which to me looks like they're gearing towards younger people but I guess I'm a young person at heart because I like a lot of the sugar rush products okay so now that I have that pretty much where I want it I usually go around the edges make sure everything's blended nicely and then I start working on the lower lash line and for that usually I'll start with a smaller brush so I'm gonna start with this Moda smudge brush actually no I'm not I'm gonna start with the smaller of the Luxie brushes I have a color switch in my drawer if you don't know what that is um, you can look it up online it's kind of like a little it's kind of a sponge but it's it's rougher than a sponge and you just wipe your brush in there a little bit and it cleans off all of the dry product and I'm gonna go back into that I think we better start with a peach get something laid down as a base for the other shadows so I picked up a little bit of that peach and I usually look up and just go ahead and run that right along the lower lash line so it's preference really if you like the look without the lower lash line shadow um, you can stop there it's just another several steps that you don't have to do I like the look of a shadow on my lower lash line and again I kind of progressively get smaller with the brushes because you don't want much product on there you don't want it to cover up and go down to your cheeks you also don't want a bunch of fallout so I go kind of slow take it slowly and add a little bit at a time so that I don't make a mess especially if I've already done my entire face so this is the smudger brush then and I'm taking that second color that we used which is a little bit of a deeper brown and we're gonna go ahead and smudge that out connect it with the shadow you've already got out in this corner and smudge it right in I like a smoked out smudgy lower lash line I think it looks nice oh I love hearing those birds singing to be honest spring is not my favorite time of the year in Pennsylvania mostly because it gets very wet windy and muddy okay now we're going to take on that same brush uh, that wine or maroon color that we were using 
out in the outer corner and we're just gonna keep that to about the first third of our outer corner. And that just brings a little more depth to that outer corner. If you can see the difference between the two eyes, this one we've added the deeper color. And I think it just brings a different, kind of lifts the eye up. You kind of have to figure out your own eye shape and practice makes perfect. Just practice different looks until you find one that you really like. I don't know that I have a preference of an eye look, except that I can tell you that I'm not a huge fan of winged eyeliner on myself. As a matter of fact, I've kind of gone away with, from um, using eyeliner on the top at all. I'm just over it. I don't know why. I just, one day was like, mm, I don't want to. So I didn't. And people are allowed to change and grow and do different things. So no judgment. Now I'm ready to do my lower waterline. And I have some favorites. And this one is from ColourPop. It's their cream gel liner. And this one is in Get Paid. And it's a really pretty like coppery bronze. And we're gonna put that in the lower waterline. It's very, very metallic, very shiny. Kind of adds to that bronzy, summery look. These do not last, woo! Did you see that? I just flung that thing. Um, these do not last as long on the lower waterline as Melt or Urban Decay but the price difference is unreal. So check those out. You know, once my eyes dry, because usually when I do this, they start to water and then I'm losing a bit of it. So I keep mine out and then I kind of reapply after I do the mascara. Usually I'm good then for the, the rest of the day. Once it dries, it will stay in place. But right now my eyes are watering and it's kind of going to start to move around a little bit. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. So my next step would be to curl my lashes and then add some um, lash primer. I'm a huge lover of lash primer. It lengthens my lashes. It makes them look thicker. I didn't even know lash primer existed until a few months ago and now I have to have lash primer. And there are some really good ones at the drugstore. The Milani, I think it's Violet Lash Primer is really good. Um, the one from L'Oreal, I don't, I think it's called Lash Paradise too. It's their uh, lash primer. Right now I'm just working through one that I got from Tarte called, I think it's Opening Act or Open Act. It's worn off, that's how much I've used it. Um, but lash primers, man. One hour later. Not too bad today. We shall see. This is a good mascara. I haven't find, found it to run or smudge or transfer or ball up and make those tiny little black balls on your cheeks. What is that about? No, it doesn't do that. So my final step for my eyes is to take that cute little Moda pencil brush and take something pretty and sparkly and I like to highlight my inner corner. This is a pretty shade. It looks like it's kind of a duochrome and it's a peachy and it has gold glitters in it, so. On the inner corner. The sun is going away. And I'm gonna take one, a different one for the brow one. This one's lighter, it doesn't have any glitter in it. Again, I like highlighter. On my eyes, I like a bright inner corner and I like a um, bright brow bone, so I do that, but you don't have to. Uh, our last step will be to put on some setting spray. This is from e.l.f. It's their Dewy Setting Mist. It smells like coconuts. The spritzer is not the best one I've ever had. It's kind of aggressive, but it is very affordable. You can find it at Walmart or on elfcosmetics.com. So I kind of hold it far away and almost let it fall like rain instead of, you know, directly spraying it in my face. It smells very, very summery. I like that. It does not break me out or cause any problems with my makeup. I have to be careful. Sometimes it will spray unevenly, but it leaves a nice, real nice glow to your face and it feels great. 
If you don't have yourself a little fan, you can get these at the Dollar Tree. Probably the best tool I've ever, I've ever owned for doing my makeup. It feels wonderful because I get very hot when I'm applying my makeup sometimes. And I can't run the air conditioner um, sometimes because it's very noisy. So I get really hot and that fan really does help. Now, we're gonna back up the camera a little bit. And we'll talk up, uh, we'll wrap up the situation here. Make sure we don't need anything else and talk a little bit about the palette. So, one minute. Okay, so that's the end of my look. This is the final product. I think that this BU palette from Sugar Rush by Tarte is a really good palette. I really enjoy it. I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this this summer. It's got some beautiful golds and bronzy colors that I, I love to do that when you have a nice tan. So I think this is going to be great. And uh, I should have looked up the price for you, but it will be in the description box down below. It's affordable. That, that I do know. Most of Tarte's uh, eyeshadow palettes are, are more affordable than some of the ones that I own. So um, I think it's worth the money. I really do. Especially if you like bees. And um, just I just think that packaging is so cute. I love it. So that's it for me. Um, I don't think I tried any new products. Again, check out those brushes. Those are some really good affordable brushes. Not the least expensive that I own, but... They are really good quality brushes and they they wash up well so um, I would check those out if you're in the market for any brushes. I know right now most of us are not in the market to buy anything new which is why I'm going through all of my makeup and kind of trying to pull things that I haven't done videos on before and kind of introduce you to them. This came out um, a while ago. I mean within six months so it's not that old and the last I checked it was still available so um, again please uh, subscribe if you haven't yet that would really really make my quarantine I don't know anyway um, <laughs> please subscribe if you would and click that little bell you'll be notified when I do put up a new video and come back watch some more uh, we're, I'm trying to keep it very lighthearted here without pretending like nothing is going on because I just think that's not realistic and um, so maybe you'll get a laugh maybe you'll be entertained and be able to forget about things for a little while that's my hope um, I enjoy making the videos so I'm gonna keep doing it um, whether two people watch it or you know I wish a hundred people watched it uh, so keep your chin up everything's going to be fine we will get through this, this too shall pass. I love you all, take care of yourself, stay home when you can, and um, I love you. We'll see you again in the next video. Bye.